Good morning, welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. I'm Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel, Dee Graywall, and this is gonna be the weekly general read for all signs from November 10th to November 16th. I hope you all had a fabulous week. Um, real quick, you can find me on Facebook at Dee Graywall, Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel, as well as on Instagram at The Angels of Alchemy, and you can also visit my website at healingwithheaven.com. For those of you who are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please don't forget to give me a like and thumbs up on the videos so we can help circulate the videos and get it out to other people uh, so that they can receive as well. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And if the messages resonate, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like on the video. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate your support. So with that being said, um, Let's talk about what's kind of unfolding here. We are in a Mercury retrograde, okay? We officially went into the re retrograde on October 31st on Halloween. Although we were in the shadow aspects of the Mercury retrograde prior to that. Um, Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. We also had Venus in Scorpio, or that moon, uh, that's kind of shifted now. Um, so, you know, Mercury is air, it's communication it's thinking um and then you have scorpio scorpio is death and rebirth it's the phoenix rising from the ashes it's a water sign so it's emotional okay there's um that element of uh, dark and light when it comes to scorpio so you know this mercury retrograde is a very intense retrograde okay um, there's a lot that's happening and, you know, even behind the scenes, there's other aspects that are going on. Um, and, you know, when we're in a Mercury retrograde, it's a time of kind of revisiting, reflecting, detaching, going within. Um, it's time sometimes of reconciliation because you have people coming back from your past. And so, you know, it's, it's the cycle, these old patterns and these own old beliefs and, you know, coming to head and you kind of um, re-evaluating things in your life. So it's not necessarily a time that you should be taking action. It's a time that you should be detaching, reflecting, re-evaluating. Sometimes when people come back from our past where there's been some kind of unfinished business and it's a wrap up of that. <clears throat> so, and, you know, the energy, um, being that it's in Scorpio, it's quite emotional. Some of you are going back to your past and looking at things from your past. This is about belief systems, okay? Um, there's things that are, co are connected to your childhood. Um, you know, when I'm speaking about relationships, it's all your relationships, right? So it's your romantic, it's your work, it's your family, it's your friends, okay? Especially relationships um, with your family that you have that you grew up believing certain belief systems, okay? Because, you know, you had parental be beliefs imposed upon you. And so you grew up believing certain things. A lot of that is coming to the surface, right? And it's coming to the surface so that um, we can sort through, uh, reflect, and kind of move beyond it, right? And um, this is an intense one, you know. Last week was very intense, and I don't know if you felt it, but the energy was very strong. Um, and, you know, from people that I'm talking to, that they really felt this intensity last week. And, you know, I can't say that it's um, lightening up much this week. There is uh, still that same intensity. But again, you know, I've been saying to you, um, if you've been watching my videos, we've been kind of wrapping up this year. It's been a year of closing out cycles, closing out um, things and walking away from things that don't serve us, okay? Moving away from toxic situations and environments, relationships that aren't serving us, so that we can be aligned with authentic truth and so that we can be where we need to be on our path. And the universe is kind of giving us a gentle nudge. Now, it might not feel gentle at, at sometimes, you know? But I feel sometimes we're kind of hard of hearing, not necessarily listening to the guidance that we receive. Sometimes we are slow in acting. And so, you know, there is a rev up. And I think it's important to remember what you resist will persist. And it's like, don't resist the changes at this time, you know, move forward. 
embrace the changes okay change is necessary so keep that in mind there um you know we're being prepared for you know january 2020 and into next year um you know we're also going to be wrapping up an eclipse cycle so come december there's going to be a new eclipse cycle and there's some very interesting aspects in december where you know it's important that you put in the work and do what you need to now because, you know, things are going to rev up come December and you don't want to be in this place of um, feeling utterly confused, no idea where you're going and, you know, not made any kind of headway and you're going to enter your new year like that. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to do that to yourself, you know, so if there's things and cycles that need to close, there's people you need to walk away from, now's the time to do it. You don't want to start another cycle and go through what you've been going through up to this point and, and going through another cycle um, with repeated patterns. You don't want to do that. So, you know, in December, we will be wrapping up the eclipse cycle that we had earlier in the, this year in the summer and you know, the new eclipse cycle will begin. Now, when we're dealing with eclipses, it's about change, it's about transformation, and it can be anywhere from the time of eclipse up to six months to a year. But we are wrapping up, you know, we're going to be preparing for, for next year. It's, you know, it's not a quinky dink that we have an eclipse in December. It's really not. So, and, you know, it's going to be an intense month there. You know, we're not even going to be out of Mercury retrogrades, I believe, until the 7th, and then you're going to still be in a... Sh uh, I don't know if we're fully out until the 7th or we're going to then be in the shadow aspect of it. I have to check that, you know, but we're being prepared for, you know, you've got the um, Saturn and Pluto conjunction. OK, and that's January, I believe. OK, um, and that you have the planet of karma conjunct, you know, conjunct with Pluto, the planet of transformation. OK. Um, it's the planet of destruction. It's the planet of endings, okay? But healthy endings and um, transformation that is needed. It's death and rebirth, okay? Because it's associated with Scorpio as well. So all of this is happening and it's really putting you on your path and where you need to be, aligning you with your soul's mission and your destiny, what you came here to do, the relationships you really came here to have that were based on authentic truth. And that, um, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to be walking away from people that they've known for a long time because there's, you know, remember, with every ending comes a new beginning and that's happening so that the new can come in and you're going to be aligned with people that you're meant to be aligned with, that there's a purpose that you guys coming together is, you know... There's a purpose behind it. So let's look at, uh, let's go ahead and move into your reading. We're going to begin with your uh, Moonology cards. And um, we have a few cards that I've pulled here. Um, Oracle and um, you've got the Psychic uh, Tarot. And then we'll move into your Tarot cards, okay? So this week you have the answers you need are coming you have full moon in Gemini. So we do have a full moon. We have full moon on Tuesday. It's in the sign of Taurus, okay? This full moon isn't just any full moon, okay? This is a very important full moon. And, you know, this is one of manifesting, so make sure that you're aligned <coughs> with the, uh, you know, with the highest possible vibration and you're focusing on the positive. But it's also time that we're releasing, okay? Anytime you have full moon, we're releasing what no longer serves us. Now you have the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So you've got Mercury at play here. And Mercury, um, in this full moon, I feel like there's something coming up with communication, okay? There's going to be some kind of clarity, this communication that I really feel with others, something that is kind of been... Um, Behind the scenes, something that's been a secret, something um, that hasn't been revealed to you yet, some kind of clarity that you're needing as well, is going to be coming to light. Something's going to be illuminated for you, okay? There's a feeling of uh, communication with others as well. Um, yeah, definitely something around relationships here, I'm feeling. There's a feeling of needing to surrender and release as well. 
and I'll, I'll let you know what I got in meditation after I go over the Moonology cards. You have your dreams need a practical po approach, full moon in Taurus. So absolutely, we have a full moon in Taurus on Tuesday. So how interesting that we pulled this card. Now your Moonology deck, you pulled all cards of the full moon, which tells me that there's something very divine happening because I have three, the number of three, three is the number of the Ascended Masters, which also tells me that, you know, so whatever is happening is divinely guided, but it also tells me this is going to be one intense full moon. So get ready. Um, whatever clarity that you're seeking, whatever answers that you need that are coming to you, there's going to be some kind of adjustment of your plans. I also feel that you need to take a more, you know, you're being guided to take a practical approach. You need to, um, you know, you're in this place of reevaluating things, coming up with a game plan, making some changes, um, because perhaps, you know, what you've been putting out up to this point and perhaps, you know, the way you, that you've planned things out isn't quite solid, okay? You need to take a more grounded approach. That's the sense and feeling that I'm getting. Grounded approach, okay? So I am going to say to you that I recommend going out and walking in nature, meditating, okay, to get your clarity that you're seeking. You also have the end of a tough cycle approaches for moon and Capricorn. You have two earth signs and an air sign. There's something with you. Um, these three signs are going to be important. If there's some kind of communication, you could be dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And you could also be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It's just something that I'm getting. Okay, so you're, th this, within your relationships, that's what I'm really feeling, okay? Some of you, okay, so this week, there's going to be a closing of a cycle, something that's coming to completion. That is, I'm really also feeling here that it, there is some kind of pattern, some kind of addictive behavior, some kind of codependency that you're going to be breaking from this week as well. Yep. It's time to surrender and release. Surrender and release what's not serving you. Now, when I meditated on the energy, some of the things that came up, uh, you know, they literally showed me uh, a young woman on a horse. She's riding and she's moving very quickly. The wind's blowing on her face and her hair. And there's this feeling of, as I was connecting to this uh, vision, there's this feeling of freedom, needing to break free. And, you know, feeling this like, oh, I'm free. You know, being free of some kind of burden. Um, they also showed me, you know, this image of kind of somebody on their own, but very nine of swords, like, you know, face buried in the hands, feeling very conflicted, very much in the thoughts. Um, they also showed me this woman that was riding, she was riding kind of towards the end of this cliff. And she's looking over this cliff and it's kind of similar to an image that they've given to me before. Below her is this beach and there's these waves that are hitting and they're not, you know, soft waves, calm waves. They're very, um, they're very tumultuous, okay? Um, and they're, they're high, okay? And they're hitting the shore aggressively. It's like a whirlwind. And, you know, I, I look up and it's kind of like this storm, okay? So a feeling of a storm approaching all this, a storm, and I really feel this storm and, and the water is a reflection of the emotions that are coming up here. Um, and kind of in this place of, you know, where do I go? How do I move forward? There's that feeling. Um, there's a feeling of self-entrapment here as I'm connecting to this energy as well. But just over the cliff, you know, there's, there's also this vision of this sun coming up over the horizon. And so this tells me whatever the storm is, whatever the cycle that you've been in, it's really coming to completion. There's light at the end of the tunnel here. They also told me beware 
other people around you this week. Beware of jealousy um, and, and people who um, kind of behave like they mean you well, but not really, okay? There's an element of betrayal here. So there's a feeling of just be aware of, of people around you. Beware of the people that you work with as well, okay? Um, there's a feeling of gossip, kind of uh, that kind of feeling. Uh, very five of swords energy that I'm feeling here as well. Conflict with others, um, mental conflict with yourself. Um, it's, you know, they kind of gave me this feeling of chaos and conflict, okay? But through all of this, they also gave me that this is going to be a week that uh, there's an element of surprise. There's something that you can't see. There's some kind of blessing. There's a surprise coming. So, you know, remain grounded, remain detached, walk away from conflict in those scenarios and really go within and stay centered within yourself. They also guided that you detach this week. You know, um, this isn't a week to really interact with others, especially because of the chaos and the conflict. So you're being guided to kind of go within and get into the hermit phase. That's really what I, what I was receiving here. But there is this blessing, there is a surprise on the horizon. So you need to trust, believe and have faith. So let's move into the rest of the cards now. You have strengthening bonds underneath the answers you need are coming. Yeah, there's some kind of communication that you're going to have with a loved one. <clears throat> somebody that you feel strongly about, okay? This could be a, a romantic partnership and relationship, but it doesn't have to be. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> but you have strengthening bonds. So there's some kind of new start, new beginning. Um, you know, this, this this tells me that that there's going to be some kind of solid foundation that's created from whatever communication that this is. All right. Um, I feel like there's a surrendering of old way of thinking, old belief systems um, that has kind of blocked communication, that has blocked certain relationships. But there's going to be a strengthening of bonds between two people. I'm really feeling that. And within relationships, okay? You have clarity of belief here. Um, you know, there's a sense and feeling of what do you believe about your relationships? You're being guided to detach this week and gain clarity about what your beliefs are about relationships, the relationship that you have with yourself and the relationship that you have with others. Because really up to this point, you know, it's your beliefs that have manifested into your relationships. And so there's a need to transform some of these um, thoughts, these belief systems that you have. You need to also look at what is it that you need within your relationships, right? And getting clear with yourself so that, you know, you can actually communicate calmly um, what it is that you need from others and that people can understand what you need as well. But you really have to get clear within. So you need a clarity of belief. And, you know, so you're being guided to go within and get in tune to your own heart and your feelings and what it is that you seek in relationships and what belief systems have you had up to this point that have really created blocks within communication within your relationships, this has created blocks within your partnerships, okay? So that you can move beyond this. And then you have detach. So here it is. Detach so you can get this clarity of belief, right? So, um... Go within and, you know, move away from what is disappointing you. See how there's this wilderness in the back, there's snow and there's a, a, a tree that's bare. It's like move away from the things that are disappointing you. Move away from the hurt right now. Detach so you can find peace from within. You don't need to look at this right now. You need to address your feelings, but walk away from the disappointments so that you can find peace. Let go of attachments. Attachments and expectations, okay? Let go of that. It's time to detach. 
so that you can spread your wings and fly, so that this isn't keeping you blocked and stuck anymore, so that you can spread your wings and fly, take a leap of faith, so that you can reach your full potential, so that you can have partnerships and relationships that are based on truth, that are, you know, equal, that are balanced, so you can find the balance. Underneath strengthening bonds, you have intuition. The power of intuition will light your path, providing a connection to the divine. So, you know, you need to really go within. I feel like you need to listen to your inner guidance right now. Listen to your guides and angels, but really listen to your inner guidance, okay? Because this is where you're getting your truth, your clarity. And, you know, when you connect to source... This is where your bonds will strengthen because you start to see things from a completely different perspective. You have here courage. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have been there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was supposed to be meditation. I wanted to get it in the correct order the way I pulled them. All right, underneath clarity of belief, you have meditation, okay? It says, meditation will transport you to the place of bliss at any desired time of the, di of the day, right? When you're in this vibration of, you know, you're, you're in a positive vibration when you're in meditation, okay? It gets you into the space of feeling good, you know? But this is where you get your clarity, your insights. This is where, you know, when you meditate, those um, feelings that you have that you've locked away, that you don't address a lot of the times, they'll start coming up to the surface. But this is where you get to know yourself, right? This is where you get that clarity. You get to know yourself. You get to address these emotions and feelings that come up to the surface, but it also puts you into that feel-good space, and it's from that feel-good space that you can manifest. Underneath the touch, you have wellness. A healthy body, mind, and spirit thrive with a constant flow of balanced energy. So underneath the touch, it's like you need to make yourself a priority right now. You need to detach from people, places, situations that are toxic, that weigh you down, that are bringing in disappointment because it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy for you and you need to put yourself first. There's a feeling of self-care, self-love and nurturing this week. Make yourself a priority. Focus on healing yourself and taking care of you. I get the sense and feeling that you need to watch what you're eating. Okay, eat high vibrational foods, um, eat healthy foods, because there's a feeling of, you know, um, your wellness and your tiredness. If there's, a, if you're feeling lethargic, it's all connected to what you're eating. So make sure that you focus on you know, keeping yourself at optimum, right? All right, eat high, vibra high vibrational foods, meditate, go for a walk in nature, exercise, all right? But this is a week of self-love and nurturing, taking care of you. Underneath, spread your wings. You have courage. How beautiful that these cards completely connected with the cards um, that I pulled previously. And it says, courage is the strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down. You know, it, I couldn't believe how these cards connected with the, each of the cards. And this is how I pulled them, all right? You have spread your wings and then you have courage. It's like, be willing to take a leap of faith. Are you going to keep yourself stuck? Are you gonna keep yourself stuck in situations or are you gonna take a leap of faith so that you can move to a more balanced life, to positive new beginnings. Have the courage to move forward on your path. Don't stay stuck out of fear. Let's go ahead and move into your tarot readings. You're starting off with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about laying down a burden. You're at the end of a cycle. You're at the Ten, okay? So... Whatever, you're almost at the end now. You're going to lay down the burdens of the past. You're laying down the heaviness, okay? The bricks that you've been holding onto, you're ready to put them down. You're at the end. This cycle is coming to a completion here. Let's 
let's go into okay what is this about well you have family matters and criticism so looking at this this tells me and when we had clarity of beliefs there's some relationships in your in your family okay relationships from your past growing up where you've grown up believing that you're less than that you're not worthy you know it's been there's been a lot of criticism from your past from people in your family you're ready to put this burden down you're starting to see a different truth about who you are and you're realizing that these belief systems aren't real they're not the truth they don't reflect who you are and you're walking away from people that are toxic people who criticize you you're going to put that burden down you're creating new belief systems you're seeing your worth okay and you're changing the way that you look at yourself and that you look at others and it's happening because you're coming into a place of loving yourself loving yourself wholly and completely and ultimately that's going to reflect out in your relationships And then you have the four card, okay? The four card is about new beginnings. It's about taking the leap of faith. Now, sometimes, you know, she can't see what's up, what's up ahead. Here she is aimlessly walking off this cliff, all right? But she's daring to take a leap of faith at the same time. You know, she's going through, look at the butterflies. She's going through a transformation. This is very spiritual. Look at the colors. And there's a lot of purple here. You know, purple is a very spiritual color. And so this is uh, ascended, uh, you know, feeling like a, she's ascending things. She's transcending. All right. She's going through this spiritual re uh, um, rebirth. It's a, an awakening. Okay. So this fall is beginning this new journey. There's been a rebirth. There's been an awakening. And she's going to follow her path. She's following her destiny here. And she's been guided by spiritual forces. And of course she is. You have the high priestess. You know, the high priestess is somebody who has ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. Um, you know, she is someone who's incredibly psychic. She's intuitive. She's very connected to her emotions. She's connected to divine wisdom. Uh, she's connected to old wisdom, an old soul here, okay? Um, there's a guide that I feel that's helping you move forward. But this is you, you know, you're learning to shift and change as you trust your intuition more. You've gone through this spiritual transformation and here you are as this high priestess, okay? And you're being guided by source and spirit. You're being guided to trust the wisdom within. I also feel goddess Isis, okay? I'm feeling the energy of Isis here, okay? That she's supporting you this week. There's the divine feminine that's supporting you on your path this week, all right? There's a definite... Um, element of, of the feminine, the divine feminine here. <coughs> you have the Hierophant. Right underneath family matters and criticism and you have the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is about traditions. It's about religious belief systems, okay, places of worship. Um, th this is a uh, could be a, a spiritual teacher, a spiritual guide, okay? But this is about your traditions and belief systems. You're reconstructing and moving away from belief systems that just isn't what you truly believe. And you're coming into alignment with your spiritual self. You're coming at one with the core of who you are and what you are and the vibration of love that you are. And, you know, you're also walking away from scenarios that don't match your belief systems and your traditions and your values. You're not going to allow that in your life anymore. You're not going to settle for anything less than you deserve. So that means, you know, if, you're, if you've been in situations where um, you were in, say, relationships where you're seeking uh, a commitment, a marriage proposal, things of that nature. But up to this point, it's been like strictly no strings attached or something like that. You're not going to settle for that anymore because what you really want is marriage. You want commitment. So, you know, 
there's a there's an element of that you're going to honor your belief systems your traditions and your values here some of you this is about honoring um your traditions from your family in the sense of your culture and your religion okay um but there's definitely elements that you're cutting out and elements that you're going to embrace and then you have the king of wands well actually let's go into what this the hierophant i'm sorry now clarifying the hierophant you have waiting for a new beginning you've been waiting for this new beginning so if we look at the hierophant some of you've been waiting for a new beginning for commitment a romantic partnership and relationship that is based on your beliefs okay this is about commitment others of you the spiritual path that you're on the work that you do okay your spiritual destiny you've been waiting for a new start for things to build there's something that you've been waiting to come in some kind of message that you're waiting on receiving this is all about your beliefs you're waiting on something from spirit definitely here and for you know i do feel that some of you are waiting for a commitment to come in definitely feeling your spiritual path a new start with your spiritual work things that you've been working on for a long time and you have the king of wands king of wands is um fire fire energy so you have aries leo or sagittarius uh, I really feel that this is you taking charge, okay? Um, you're going to put your ideas into action. Um, you know, the King of Wands isn't necessarily someone who is all about the, the creativity and the inspiration. It's like he'll utilize others to put his plans into action. There's a feeling of that. But what I sense is you're really coming up. You're going to move forward with um, fire, drive you know um with strength okay moving forward with that some of you have this king of wands energy around you okay now king of wands when it comes to relationships this is somebody that could be kind of in and out of your life all right um it's not always necessarily a situation of commitment this could be somebody who comes in and leaves as quickly as they come in um, but there's a lot of passion with him, a lot of desire, a lot of passion. And you could have somebody moving towards you, okay, that is this King of Wands, this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I really feel that it's, it, for some of you, it's coming up as this is your energy. Now, you have defeat, and you see this guy he's offering. This is, I get the sense and feeling some of you are going to hear from a uh, past past romantic partner okay where things didn't work out before they're a little nervous about moving forward all right because you have this card of defeat it's like they want to make you an offer um for some of you i feel like you know this person wants to apologize um they don't they, you know i get the sense of feeling they know that they messed up okay previously and now they're coming back to kind of apologize and make an offer but there's this feeling of defeat they're knowing I almost get a sense of feeling like they don't know if there's any hope within this situation or whether you're taken back. So for, for some of you, it's about that. And keep in mind, this is a general read. It's, gonna, it's not going to resonate for everybody. But highlighting like that, it's like they felt defeated in the past, okay? They're knowing that they need to make an apology, but they're also moving very quickly, Daring to take a leap and moving very, very quickly towards you. They want to present something to you. An offer of a committed relationship. But they're not sure how you're going to take that offer. Some of you, this is going to be an opportunity with work that's coming in. That's connected to your spiritual path, okay? There's going to be an offer here. And perhaps in the past, you felt like something was lost or didn't quite work out as you had hoped. 
but there's going to be a new, it's coming in very different, this partnership. So you could be, um, you could be coming into partnership and alliances with others as well at this time. Definitely something connected to your past, okay? I do feel for some of you, this is about your work. There's going to be a partnership and alliance with work, an offer that's coming in that perhaps previously didn't quite work out, but now it's going to shift. There's something changing. You also have the Six of Cups here. So when we're dealing with the Six of Cups, this is old memories, um, friendships from the past. Um, you know, there's a feeling of nostalgia at times, okay? Um, and there's kind of like, somebody's throwing you off a little bit, I feel. Some of you are looking back at the past, all right? Now, it's underneath the High Priestess. So for some of you that's going to be receiving a romantic offer here, trust your intuition because there's something you're not trusting about this situation as well there's a feeling of nostalgia you're kind of looking back at the past you're not quite sure about this offer for others of you it's going to be about work okay now You have the hangman. There's a need to see things from a different perspective. Um, some of you have been waiting for this um, offer with work, some kind of shift with work to come in. And the reason why I say that is because you have the hangman and you have wealth. Uh, for others of you, I'm feeling that this person that's coming in from your past, don't be so sure on, on why they're coming back because I feel for some of you, they see you as a money option, okay? If you were with this person before, they were with you for the wrong reasons. That's a sense and feeling that I'm getting for some of you. But for others of you, you're very focused on your career and you're focused on your finances and you're being guided to see things from a different perspective. I feel like you need to see things from a spiritual perspective. Allow the divine to guide you, but there's also a, a, a need for you to see yourself as being abundant and prosperous versus looking at yourself from this place of lack here, okay? Um, you do have it being highlighted by the wealth card. So, yeah, you need to... I almost feel like some of you need to reevaluate um, your plans about your work. Something needs to change here. Some of you aren't too sure, or sure about this offer of work here, but really rise above. I feel like you need to tune into and tap in to source and tap into your spiritual connection in order to get guidance about how to proceed forward. Some of you, there's going to be an offer of wealth coming to you. And you're needing to see things from, from a higher perspective. I feel like there's something that you don't trust about this. Someone um, could be, obviously, uh, there's, a, oh, there's a feeling of somebody that's going to offer to help you out here as well. For some of you, I'm seeing that. But really, you're wanting to be self-sufficient. Now, this person that's coming back, the man to partner, this, was, he, this person wasn't self-sufficient. They relied on you for wealth. You here are wanting to be self-sufficient. Have your own, create your own, be abundant on your own. I get the sense and feeling of that. But this tells me, whatever this offer was, for some of you that was romantic, they were with you for the wrong reasons and they weren't self-sufficient. For others of you, I'm feeling that this offer that comes in in regards to work will leave you. You'll be self-sufficient. You'll have your own abundant success and prosperity. Some of you, if somebody's been waiting to come in and the reason why that's been is they've been waiting to get their finances in order. They want to make an offer, but they've been waiting to make this traditional offer, this commitment. Remember, you had the Hierophant because they want it to be solid. They want it to be right. They want to do it in the right way. Something is leaving you very confused. This is about your foundation because you have the nine of swords. You're very much in your mind at this time. You're feeling very conflicted. You're in your thoughts, <clears throat> sleepless nights. 
you know, feeling left out in the cold, not knowing which direction to go, um, struggling with clarity. It's like the storm that you're going through. A lot of this is mental conflict. It's in your mind. But some of you, this offer that's coming in is completely throwing you off. You're just not sure about it. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody else. This is about you receiving a solid offer. It's coming in slowly, but it's solid. Um, some of you, um, you know, I kind of feel that you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Or this is your energy. You're wanting to take action towards financial stability. For some of you, this person that is coming in, they could have that earth element, okay? And they do want to offer you something solid, taking action and, you know, bringing you an offer, but one that comes with financial stability. Others of you, this is going to be an, another offer in regards to your work. One where you're going to work hard, but it's going to be rewards. It's going to bring financial stability. Some of you are really focused on taking action towards your career about your financial stability here. All right, so take what resonates for you. I'm receiving it in different ways. And then you have Queen of Swords. You have the Queen of Swords underneath Hanged Man. And I really get the sense and feeling that this is your energy, okay? You're cutting out what no longer serves you. You're not going to tolerate any kind of BS now. If it's not based on truth, and if somebody can't speak to you truthfully, they can't be honest with you, you're not going to tolerate this. You're going to cut it out, okay? You're walking away from drama, negativity, and toxicity. You're going through rebirth. You're going through rebirth, you're going through endings, you're going through a time period of moving away from things that aren't based on authentic truth. You're starting to get clarity. You're seeing things from a spiritual perspective where you have the hangman. You're rising above the obstacles and challenges here. You have the ace of swords. The ace of swords is a sword of truth. It's a sword of clarity. It's new begin beginnings based on truth, based on clarity. You're now seeing clearly. And there's this brand new beginning. You've got insights, knowledge, wisdom coming in. And you can trust this. And it's transforming you. It's transforming your path. There's this new beginning here. Because you're no longer going to accept what is less than what you deserve. And... You have this, you have this ace of swords because you felt trapped. You have conformity here, highlighting the ace of swords. You felt trapped. You feel like a robot. You feel like, you know, you're being controlled. You haven't had any control in the situation, okay? And you've been searching for answers. You've been searching for answers because you want to break free. You don't want to be in these old belief systems that don't match you. You're breaking free of all this. Ultimately, now you have the Nine of Swords. So now you have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So, you know, I really feel that you're going to move forward very, very quickly. Um, the Knight of Swords is a messenger, okay? It's somebody that moves very quick, quickly. You've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Swords energy. You know, we've got quite a lot of Swords energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could also be dealing with somebody who's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Either you're taking action very quickly to move out of certain scenarios after receiving some kind of truth or clarity, or this is also somebody around you that is moving towards you very quickly quickly bringing in some kind of truth and clarity sometimes it's a little harsh it's not always gentle okay but what i'm feeling here is you have stamina it's like the strength to move forward taking action towards you towards your goals your dreams your desires towards you need to be moving very very quickly with strength okay and you have 
enlightenment. Yep. After getting some kind of truth and clarity. You're about to see, receive some kind of news. I feel there's news coming in that is going to bring you enlightenment. It's going to bring you clarity. And it's coming in very quickly and coming in strong. Whatever this is. Look, see you have rush. Rushing in. Somebody's rushing towards you. Or you're rushing towards your destiny. But whatever this is, is going to bring you contentment. You're going to be happy because it's going to be solid foundation. You're going to have contentment and happiness and joy. And it's built on a solid foundation. It's balanced. A situation of equal give and take. Some of you, this is about a relationship. Some of you, this is about a relationship that you have with yourself. You're coming into alignment with you. You're becoming more balanced. You're creating this stability for yourself. And ultimately, it's bringing you contentment. For others, this is a relationship offer. One that is based on equal give and take. Um, there's a reunion from your past, a reconciliation. Okay? Some of you, it's about you coming into alignment with you. Falling in love with yourself. Seeing the truth of the situation. Uh, realizing the love that you seek is you. Coming into balance and finding your happiness and joy there. For others of you, you're taking action, moving towards this. This is what you want in your life. So this is what you're going to move towards. And for others of you, this is coming towards you very quickly. Somebody that wants to make you an offer. They want to reconcile. They want it to be balanced. They want it to be of equal give and take. They want to bring you happiness, joy, and contentment. So let's go into your outcome cards. You have the Wheel of Fortune. This is about the wheel moving in your favor now. Where previously things were stuck. You have the wheel of fortune. This is your destiny. This is your path. This is where you're meant to be. And the wheel is turning. Where it was previously stuck. Things are changing. And you can't run from this. You can't hide from it. Okay? Things need to change. It's a big week because, let me just see something. You had the Ace of Swords, you had Queen of Swords here, hold on. One. Yeah, you had one, two, three, four major arcana cards. So this tells me five, five major arcana. And five is the number of changes. It's gonna be big changes this week. Major changes that you're going through, okay? Now, the Wheel of Fortune is also over strengthening bonds and trust your intuition, okay? So something previously that you, that you, I feel like you've had an inner knowing about this, but you've been doubting, all right? Something that's coming into balance, some, something that's going to move in your favor. And some of you, this is going to be a strengthening in, your, in bonds in your relationships, partnerships, alliances. Um, things are moving in your favor in regards to your work and your career, new offers that are coming in, you being aligned with people that you're meant to work with. You have Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely a new start with career and finances, one that is going to be emotionally fulfilling, one that is going to be, um, you know, stable. There's a new beginning, a new start, abundance, success, prosperity, Where you were previously stuck, you're coming out of that now. You then have temperance. Yep. This is new beginnings. Everything in moderation. Remember that. This is called everything in moderation. But And it happens slowly sometimes, you know. You need to take a practical approach. You need things to be created on a solid foundation. But this is harmony, balance coming into your life. Stability. Fairness. This is going to be a celebration. You've been waiting for this. There's a celebration after going through a struggle. Okay, three of cups is about a celebration. And what you've been waiting for is coming in. You have the ace of cups. 
Now, the Three of Cups can also be viewed as a third party situation, but I'm not feeling that. Just from the cards that I'm seeing here, you have the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Temperance. This tells me there's a celebration that is bringing you emotional fulfillment. There's some element of surprise, okay? Something that you can't see just yet, all right, that's coming in. And there's going to be emotional fulfillment here. Ace of Cups is unconditional love, love in a partnership and relationship, people coming together. Some of you, there's going to be a celebration in regards to work, all right? You're going to be celebrating with others. There's this emotional fulfillment after all this hard work that you've put in. There's an element of surprise, though, because when I asked them what this Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Temperance, what all these cards were, it said the unknown card. This is an extra card in the deck, okay? It says the unknown card. It's like you can't see this just yet. There's a surprise on the horizon that you cannot see. But you've been waiting for this to come in. You've been waiting for it because you have the Three of Wands. This is a wish. A desire you've been waiting for your ships to come in so whatever this is the unknown card there's a surprise on the horizon that you can't see just yet beautiful message okay so let's go into your guidance cards I pull from the Ganesh deck you have spiritual quest you're on a spiritual journey a journey this is about a rebirth an awakening okay it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. You needed to go through this journey so that you could ascend, so that you could transcend, okay? Know that the path that you're on is spiritually guided. This is your destiny. You can't run from this. You're going through a period of enlightenment and growth and ascension and transcendence. Ganesh is coming in this week, so know whatever unfolds this week is a part of your spiritual path. It's a part of your spiritual journey. You have your um, priorities. So you're being guided this week to really focus on your priorities. Take a practical approach. Get a plan down on paper. Work towards it every day. But focus on your priorities just a little bit at a time. From your angel cards, you have look up, look forward. Welcome new development for positive change. Yep, your guides, your angels are supporting you. Uh, spirit is supporting you here. You're being guided to look forward, look up, have confidence as you move forward. Take a leap of faith and embrace this positive change that is leading you on your path where you're meant to be. A surprise is on the horizon. What did I tell you when I meditated um, on the energy? Expect a nice surprise. There's an element of surprise that's coming in. You have that all over. It was in my meditation. You have it in this card. And you have it when I um, pulled the unknown card and three of wands. Surprise is something that you've been waiting on. Okay? But there's a blessing that the universe is going to bless you with. You are in a place this week of feeling chaos and conflict. There's a lot of changes that are happening. Know that they're divinely guided though, because you have 33. This is the ascended master supporting you on your path. And although you feel like you're going through chaos and conflict, you're actually in a good space. Embrace where you are, are at on your path. You also have new life. So know that although you're going through this, there's this new life that you're moving towards, this new start. You're moving towards your dreams, your goals, desires. In actuality, this is your wish coming true. This is what you've been wishing on. This spiritual quest is leading you to this new life after going through chaos and conflict. You're coming into alignment. You're mending. You're mending. You're going through a process of healing. You're mending relationships. Okay, you're mending the relationship that you have with yourself. You're also healing from your childhood. Now, it's interesting because they 
they did show me a carousel as well. And I forgot to share that with you. They showed me a carousel and, you know, a carousel goes round. And so this has been old belief system connected to your childhood that's just gone round and round and round and you've repeated in your relationships. So you're coming to this place of healing and balance here. You're mending your past. You're mending these relationships, especially the relationship you have with yourself. And in turn, that's mending the relationships around you. You're learning to forgive and let go of the past. You've been in this place of between worlds. This is how you're feeling this week. You're kind of feeling like you're in between. You're, you know, you're looking at your past. You're looking at your future and yet you're here in the now and you just can't see what's lying ahead. And it's like you're in this in-between phase. But this is where you need to be right now. This is where you are. This is where you need to be so that you can gain clarity and insights and wisdoms and growth before you move forward on your path and you can create solid new beginnings. So really, this is such a beautiful reading, guys. It may feel like it's an intense week. But what a blessing. You have what you wish for coming in. The universe is bringing you this surprise. There's this brand new blessing and beginning. One that's on a solid foundation. There's abundance, success and prosperity. And it's coming your way. Trust, believe and have faith. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful week ahead. And I'll be back next week. God bless. Namaste.